Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Bianca. And I'm Char. And we're the Dan Brosia Twins. Welcome back to our podcast, X to What's Up, B and C. So, at the time that we are doing this podcast, we're also filming for our YouTube channel. Now, what happened at the Oscars 2022? And we are joined today with Will Plotkin, who has some funny stories to share because he actually attended the Elton John Oscar party, which is, is huge, huge and really famous. Tell us some funny things, and then we'll dive into the actual award ceremony. Because I've been waiting all day to hear your story, <laughs> and I know you probably got some really good ones. Well, so. last night was super interesting. I have been to a lot of events, mostly with you guys, so I was pretty like prepared for what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, however, this was ridiculous. Right off the bat, I see Demi Lovato standing at a table like, okay, let's Demi Lovato. I say hello. I get a little starstruck and it was like a 10 second conversation of this person it was. And that was Leah Michelle from oh, Glee. Oh. She was wearing a beautiful green dress and she was also standing at a table by herself. So I approached her and we ended up having a drink together a very quick drink together, and it was really exciting. She was very sweet. It was just a giant dinner, a big fundraising event for Elton John's um, AIDS Foundation. This was his 30 year anniversary of having this foundation, and last night they raised over $8.6 million for the AIDS Foundation. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, that's incredible. Huge amount, it was the highest amount of money they've ever received um, for donations in one night. It was big, they've, um, over time they've, donated almost $500 million, half a billion dollars to AIDS, which is like wow. super cool. Yes. Um, I met Billy Porter, I met um, Donatella Versace and I had a few conversations. Oh One thing I would love to say is, I know you guys love some Real Housewives, right? Yes, I got the pictures you texted me, it's <laughs> yeah. about to happen. So who did you meet last night from the Housewives? Last night, well you met Dorit Kemsley. Yeah, Dorit. My personal favorite, she's so silly. She she is so gorgeous, so beautiful. Did you ask her where she's from? I did, and she said Connecticut. Okay. And you actually did? Yeah. <gasps> she like has this accent mm -hmm. that changes throughout each episode depending on who she's talking to. It's so interesting. Also, right afterwards, these and also these girls were all hanging together. Like I assume they are really friends in real life. Yeah. Um, Erica Jane. Yes, mm. the pre mess. Erica. She was sweet, but she did not want to be talked to by anybody. She was with her security the whole time, and every time somebody went up to her to ask for a picture, she said no. But somehow she said yes to me, so I got a few pics with her. What happened? Or I went right up to her, and I was she, for some reason I was starstruck from her, and I was just like. I'm so sorry. Like, I started off with an apology for some reason. I was like, I'm so sorry. Can I get a picture? I was just like being a real fan. But, and she was like, make it quick. Make it quick. She did? Yeah. I was like, okay. I was like, Thank I you. will say this though. Kyle Richards and Kathy Hilton were oh. two other ones. I know Kathy Hilton's not on the show, but she's kind she's of like, like a, around. like a friend, yeah. So sweet. They mm -hmm. offered me drinks. We, I sat and chatted with them for like probably a good 15, 20 minutes. It was just a star-studded event. Liam Payne from One Direction. No way! Uh, Saweetie, uh, Heidi Klum was there. She is a tall glass of water. I'll tell you <laughs> that. Elton John actually was not there, although it was his 30th a year of having this party and his foundation. Also, it was his 75th birthday the other oh. day. So, but he's on his farewell tour, so he was in Nebraska and he like kind of came in on the screen and waved to everyone like a few times. Mm. And I just thought it was like so silly because it's yeah. literally his party. <laughs> he's like in Nebraska. In I assume you watched the Oscars last night, correct? Oh, oh yes, and I have uh, a few opinions. I am so happy that Coda swept I mean, best picture, best supporting actor, best adapted, best adapted screenplay. It deserves all the awards and more. People just want to watch movies that are kind of uplifting and hopeful, and Coda was that. And I'm not just saying that the other movie, Coda, very happy. Troy Coatser win for best supporting actor. I worked with Troy uh, many years ago, maybe like six years ago on Criminal Minds. Uh, he was super, super nice, and it's so amazing to see that he got recognition. He's doing really well, and I'm really happy to see that. Yes. Ooh, actress in a leading role. Okay, so this went to Jessica Chastain for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Now, fun fact, this is her first Oscar win. Whoa. I, if, I, yes. if I remember correctly, this is her first Oscar win. And makeup and hair went to Eyes of Tammy Faye. Have you guys seen Interstellar? It's long. It's like three hours, <gasps> but it's so good. And okay, Jessica Chastain okay. is incredible. And Matthew she McConaughey is. plays oh, her father. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Matthew McConaughey plays her father. You See, I'm not even going to explain it to you. If you know, you know. Watch and see. 
Matthew McConaughey plays, plays her, her father. father. They're like the same age. You have to no. watch it. The song went to Billie Eilish and Phineas for No Time to Die in the movie No Time to Die. I also loved Be Alive by Beyonce for Cancer. Oh, Those so were my good. two performances were amazing. Yeah, they were really she good. She performed that song last night as well. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, she... Oh. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Cinematography went to Dune, which I have to say, I, I thought it would go to Tragedy of Macbeth just because Tragedy of Macbeth yes. was... My dad told me, because I want to be a director, my dad told me that if you want to be a director, you have to watch The Tragedy of Macbeth because of just the way it shot by the line. Best director went to Jane Campion for The Power of the oh, Dogs. Wow. What an yes. honor. Yes, and it's amazing because, you know, she's the only female nominated in this category. Mm -hmm. And the last, this uh, this year's Oscar and the previous year's Oscars went to both female directors. Yes. directors. The yes. Oscar went incredible. So that's very, let's on, give a, let's talk about actor in a leading role went to Will Smith for King Richard. Yes. So let me see who was, I can't remember. Okay, so I thought Will Smith was amazing. He really was. In King Richard. He always delivers. Every single actor in this category is incredible in yeah. their work, and I've just seen so many great reviews for each one. Yeah. Oh, but I knew Will Smith was gonna win. Yep. Yeah, I, did, I, had a, I knew it, and I had a feeling.